Hello, everyone. Welcome to this very special election day broadcast from the print. Assembly election results in the three northeastern states of Nagaland, Tripura, and Meghalaya have been announced today. And we can say this without uh, too many qualifications that BJP has been a winner all the way. But one man who has held his own amidst the surge is Pradho De Borma, chief of the Tipra Mutha. Fighting its maiden assembly elections in Tripura, the party has won 13 seats, like he just reminded me, 0 to 13. So congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Are you happy with your performance or were you expecting better? I would never be happy with whatever we have got. The day you get satisfied with the number of seats you get, then you've already shown a wrong sign that you're satisfied. One should never be satisfied. I would feel that we could have won a few more seats. But to become a party, uh, which is one of the, this is the youngest party in uh, Tripura, and to uh, become uh, ahead of, to come ahead of CPM, which has been in power for 25 years before this, and Congress, which has been here for decades, and the second biggest party in Tripura uh, after BJP is indeed something that I'm very proud of, and our party is very proud of. So much was made of the 22 seats outside the tribal areas that your party fought. Uh, you know, there was a lot of speculation about what effect this would have had. How have you fared in those seats? We have come second in uh, two, I feel. And uh, there were many seats where I think uh, uh, we uh, did significantly well. In fact, we led in many areas. Uh, but I think uh, more has to be done. But this is a good start. We have already initiated a base in these areas and we would like to build on it. Uh, how much do you think the BJP benefited from the splitting of opposition votes? I, I'm not, uh, the opposition was united. I was an independent uh, party. The opposition did not split. The opposition was uh, uh, Congress and CPM. I was an independent party and I fought both the CPM, the Congress and the BJP. So that question would not be applicable to me. That would be right. Because in many seats, I've defeated the CPM and not the BJP. And in many seats, the Congress gave us a good fight. Right. But in many seats, also the winning margin of whoever has won, and that, that has applied to both the left, particularly to the left and to you, uh, where, you know, the BJP has won, say, the six seats that where BJP has won, in almost all of them, the winning margin is less than uh, what either Motha or uh, left, whichever is the third party, have polled. So to, to, to that extent, how much do you think BJP benefited? No, but because, see, again, you know, assuming, let's assume that uh, this election was won by the CPM and uh, Congress and uh, Motha was still at 13 and BGP was at B, uh, the, uh, uh, the CPM Congress numbers. They would have again said the same thing that it is BGP would have told me that uh, they lost the election because Motha got significant votes. But let me remind you, there were six seats where we, if Congress had not put up a candidate or BGP wouldn't have, uh, CPM hadn't put up a candidate, we would have won those seats as well. Right. So I, it, is, uh, uh, it is not, uh, I, know, I know that OVC Saab says this over and over again, but I'm not a vote cutting party. I'm a, I'm a person who fought on his own conviction, did not take money from anyone. I was offered alliance, unlike uh, uh, OVC Saab, who was not offered alliance by Congress and BJP. I was offered alliance by both parties. I yet fought on my own. And I think uh, we've have, we have actually built up a base very well in uh, 20 odd seats outside the ADC as well. Uh, what role will Motha now play in the Tripura Assembly? Will you be a part of the Congress left block or will you be so more... We will, not be, we will not be a part of the Congress left alliance. Neither, uh, since we are not a part of the BJP government, we will sit in the opposition and have an independent point of view. We need not uh, tag along with people just so that we can add up numbers. Ours is a movement for uh, the uh, constitutional solution for the indigenous people of the region. And until those issues are not addressed, we will raise those issues for the first time in the assembly. And uh, that is why we got elected. We didn't get elected to uh, gang up with Congress and CPM and look big enough in front of the uh, state government in the in the assembly. What's your roadmap for that constitutional solution now that you have a number in sight and all of that? We have a number. I think the, the even the state government and the central government need to pay heed that uh, out of 20 seats, 
13 seats and one came to IPFT, which is uh, again, which has the same demand. So 20 out of 20 seats, 14 seats were given to regional parties. So obviously there is a certain amount of hurt, pain and a demand which needs to be addressed of the indigenous people and the uh, government of India and the state government and in, even the opposition need to realize that until those problems are not addressed, you cannot develop the entire state of Tripura by ignoring 35% of the population. To what extent are you willing to collaborate with the BJP for that? So admittedly, BJP doesn't need an ally, but there is an example right next door in Nagaland where NPF in 2021 joined the party. BJP, NDPP didn't need NPF, but they still joined saying we need a solution. So are you open to that sort of a solution seeking uh, effort? I don't know what happened in Nagaland. Hmm. I can definitely tell you what uh, is in Tripura. I have said that I need a constitutional solution in writing, and that should be discussed. Uh, I am not interested in uh, occupying any ministerial berths, but if the government of India has an idea to solve our problem, we will definitely talk to them. Um, will you? Will you also? So, are you also open to working with the state government? Uh, from within, if, if that sort of a situation arises, the government of India, you yes, already. Tell me, Amatika, if tomorrow I go and sit down with the state government and occupy maybe a ministerial post, what will our people say? Did they vote us so that they could see Pradyot as a minister, or did they vote because they wanted a better future? If they voted to us for a better future, then how can I ignore that? agenda and look at my personal agenda. So it's very clear that until that agenda is not addressed, there is no question of us occupying personal posts just so that we have five years of luxury. Okay. Are you at all worried about keeping your MLAs together? Are I'm you... not worried. If, if MLAs leave, then they'll have to answer to the people. I have fought with my own uh, money. I've fought with my own energy. I've Fought with my, I've, give, I've given everything for this movement. I could have easily had an understanding with any of the parties. I fought and I fought in the name of the people. And the people know I'm honest and I'm working with pure conviction. If any of the MLAs think otherwise, they will have to not only answer to the public, the voters, but they'll also have to answer to the families. They will also have to uh, answer to the conscience. And uh, I can't speak for, uh, uh, I can't hold brief for anyone, but I am quite confident that they will think at least 10 times before taking such a drastic step. And anyway, I don't think BJP needs our MLAs. They already have uh, a simple majority. So let them run the government. If there's no opposition, they will have an opposition. So there are already incidents of violence in Tripura. Uh, and after such a closely fought election, are there apprehensions in the state about more such there incidents? Are there are apprehensions. I've spoken to the chief minister. I wished him on his victory. And I hope that the law and order is something which should be... See, we are a principal opposition party. We do not have a history of discriminating any political workers. This was a traditional fight between the CPM and the Congress, which was uh, passed over to the BJP. Uh, Tipra Motha has never had any animosity with BJP. Tipra Mata has had no animosity with the CPM or Congress as well. So I don't see that the ruling government should target us because we are not traditional rivals. We are just here as a movement and we are speaking for a community. Uh, so this, this is my last question, actually. Uh, on the last day of campaigning, you, you made a declaration that created quite a lot of uh, news and headlines and analysis. What happens? Where do you go from here? Where do you see yourself when you say it, this is my last political rally? Um, so I said this is my uh, last speech asking people for votes. I've said that. Okay. This is the last time you'll see me in a political uh, uh, stage. I hold that true and I don't want to take part in electoral politics. Uh, I have, I've been uh, slightly unwell and I need to go for my uh, health checkup. And uh, I have taken uh, this movement so uh, till this uh, mukam, as they say, till here. And I hope that uh, more and more people who actually want to bring a certain amount of dignity uh, for the indigenous people join me so that I also get some help because uh, it's virtually impossible for one individual to take this task 
forward on his own. So yes, I would like to uh, uh, look after my uh, well-being, but till the time we do not achieve constitutional solution, I will always be like a guardian uh, on top of an empire state building, looking after the welfare of my people. I love my people. And if uh, I feel that uh, I can, I do not have any regret for not winning an election or not becoming a minister, but I'll always have a sense of regret if I can't achieve something for my people and my community. Okay, this is really the last question. Sorry, I just remembered. Um, so, you know, your, there, is, there is one other party you just mentioned, which, uh, which fought 2018 on a similar demand. And this time, it is nowhere. I mean, it's, it's, it's got one seat, really. And uh, the sense I got when I traveled is that because uh, they could not deliver what they had promised. Are you at all worried about being a one election phenomenon like them? No, if we have to see, as I again said, my agenda is not to create a political party. My agenda is to get something for the people. As long as we keep on speaking for the people, as long as we start raising these issues, uh, IPFT became completely silent in the assembly. As long as we are talking about these issues in the assembly, uh, IPFT was completely silent for five years. They never raised the issue why they came to power in the assembly. Hmm. We will raise this issue in the assembly. We will raise the issues of our indigenous people. And that's why I said that till the time we do not have a constitutional solution, we would rather sit outside the government than be a part of the government. Whether we are invited or not, that's a separate issue. Right. Right. Thank you so much for speaking to us. And congratulations once again. Thank you.